Welcome back. In the previous video, we defined all the types that we are going to use. There were three types. First one, the unpatched Pokemon schema. Second one, the Pokemon sprite schema. And the third one, the Pokemon schema, which is the patched Pokemon schema. So let's go back to our app and then start assigning the types and also patch the Pokemon data that we are importing from our external file, which is the Pokemon data.ts. Before that, let's just verify that our, we are able to successfully import the Poke data in our file by just putting a log statement. So I'm going to go here and open my log. So yes, it's an array of 721 Pokemons, which is super cool. That's amazing. And now we can remove these two lines from here and or we can let it be for now. Just let it be. Let's first define a function called patch Pokemon data. What this function is going to do is it's going to take a list of Pokemons with the type unpatched Pokemon schema. As you remember here, unpatched Pokemon schema is the one where sprites are also stringified. So this is going to be a list of unpatched Pokemon schema. And then we will try to one by one patch each and every Pokemon schema. And we are going to do this as soon as the web app launches. So we are going to, at the end of the day, we are going to call this function from our component did mount. Awesome. So let's define our, another variable, say patched Pokemons, uh, patched Pokemons. And then let's run a map over Pokemons dot map. So as you can remember, map is nothing but a function which runs over each element of the array and then probably does some operations on that particular element and then return back and store it in another array. So what it's going to do here is it's going to run over each element of this Pokemon's array and then do some operation on this and then return back and store it into another array, which is going to be a patched Pokemon's array. Perfect. So let's call this Pokemon each and every individual element. Let's call that Pokemon. And first of all, let's define a sort of parsed sprites object. I'm going to define the type of that object to be Pokemon Sprite Schema. You, as you must have, must have remembered that Pokemon Sprite, Sprite Schema is nothing but a uh, object which contains the normal image and the animated image. Perfect. So initially, let's define it, the normal to be again undefined and the animated to be undefined as well. So by here, what I'm going to do here is I am going to try to parse this string. So as you can see here, this is in a stringified form. I'm going to run json.parse inside a try catch block. If that gets successful, then I'm going to reassign the value of parse sprite. And if that is unsuccessful, then I'm going to continue with the undefined values. So this is just a measure that so that our app does not crash in between. Even if the image is not present, it should not crash and show error message to the user that, oh, I was not able to find that and it crashed and, and so on. So what I'm going to do here is this is just the initial case with where I just define the normal and animated to be undefined. Although I am very confident that this data is not going to contain any of the undefined things, but still just to be safe. Cool. So let's reassign the parsed sprite to be Pokemon dot sprites. And again, as you must have noticed, this is again optional. It might be possible that sprite itself is null. So that's why I have added this condition here. If this is true, which is which is basically if this is not null or not undefined, then it will go to the next condition and return its result and store it in the parsed sprites. So this is basically just trying to say something like this. Um, if um, Pokemon dot sprites, not species ID sprites, then do this, then do something and so on. So uh, it, it was just a shorthand for that. So let me undo everything and let's start again. Cool. So 
parsed sprites is nothing but pokemon dot sprites and json dot parse json dot parse is nothing but again a function which tries to parse our stringified pokemon sprites so i'm going to put pokemon dot sprite inst inside it so what is going to do is first of all it's going to check whether the sprites object is present on my pokemon object if this is present then it's going to go here perform this operation and return back the operation to pokemon sprites and as you can see this type the parsed sprites type is pokemon sprites scheme perfect let's also catch the unhandled exceptions so i'm going to catch it and then i'm just going to log it here console.log and i'm going to say something like exception while parsing the sprites perfect and let's log the exception here that's that's completely fine and now finally i am going to assign uh, the patched pokemon type and i'm going to say something like patched pokemon and i'm going to assign the type to be pokemon schema so as you know pokemon schema is the patched pokemon schema where everything is intact just the sprites is no long no longer a string wherein it is a pokemon sprite schema you must have noticed the other things as well like height weight base experience id species id and so on these should be numbers ideally but we don't we don't have to perform any operation as such on them right so we can keep them string itself but let's say if you had to perform any operation in your version of this pokédex let's say if you you were able to allow, allow the user to increase the height to add the height and weight and and so on in that particular scenarios you must have kept this as a number but don't worry i am keeping keep it keeping it string only because i don't need to modify it anyway so string is also fine perfect so i am going to do this sprites it's going to be the parsed sprites so i hope you understand this particular syntax this is nothing but i'm spreading the pokemon object the original pokemon object which was the unpatched pokemon schema over the patched pokemon object i'm taking this basically means take each and every individual property in this object which is going to be id species id height weight base experience order is default everything and assign it in the patched pokemon and then i'm replacing the old value of sprites by the new value which is the parsed sprites and the last step return the patched pokemon i know this must have been a little bit confusing don't worry at all if you found this confusing don't hesitate to mention it in the comment section and let me know if i can help you anywhere don't worry at all if you find this confusing initially this stuff might be confusing a little bit but we don't need to worry all we need to do is keep practicing and keep understanding perfect so now i have returned the patched pokemon so even i can even write it here so it returns a patched uh no not a patched a pokemon schema list of pokemon schema here because we already know that this is a list of pokemon schema perfect but even if we don't it will implicitly uh define the types it is it will it is going to infer the types from this so perfect now we have the patched pokemon data this is going this is very very amazing so now let's go back to our component did mount before ending this video i'm just going to take two more minutes from you before ending this video let's finalize our pokemon component did mount so i'm going to take two steps here first one patch the stringified pokemon sprites so first step is going to be patching second step is going to be update the state with the patched pokemons so all i'm going to do here is first of all i'm going to patch the stringified data which was present inside our pokemon data and the second step is going to be update the state with the patched pokemon but before we update we need to update the type of our state as well so this all pokemons is nothing but pokemon schema array of pokemon schema searched pokemon is again going to be an array of pokemon schema and selected pokemon is just going to be one pokemon schema 
that's it and now we already have why is it showing an error here because 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 we did not we are signing undefined here but we did not kept this one as uh, undefined perfect so now that we have assigned or pokemon schema or undefined so basically now this says that selected pokemon can be pokemon schema or undefined very very easy as you already know if i refresh this page you already know that initially this has to be undefined this there's no selected pokemon that's why we are keeping that nullable perfect so now let's call our function that we created here which was the patch pokemon data and let's store the returned value inside patched pokemons and let's assign the type to be pokemon schema array the list of pokemon schema and how i'm going to do this i'm just going to call this dot patch pokemon data and inside that i'm just going to pass my pokemon data which i actually took in from the file pokemon data perfect now that we have that now let's assign this to our state this dot set state again if you remember clearly we can't we should not change our state directly we should use set set state so let's assign all pokemons to be patched pokemons perfect and then one more thing let's assign searched pokemons so initially as you can see initially let me come back so initially everything is present here so every pokemon is search pokemon because we don't have any search field so as you can see we don't have any search field present here that's why search pokemon is every pokemon as soon as we start typing now our search pokemon list will decrease so initially but the initial value of the search pokemon is going to be the patched pokemons as simple as that now we have our types in place i know this was a little bit big video but we did a great job here guys we have one half of the battle or maybe 75 percent of the battle now just the simple things are remaining now uh, we already have the state in place we have everything in place all we need to do is connect all the different components which we are already expert at which we learned in depth in the previous projects in the first and second project so before going forward let me finalize the whether we are able to patch the pokemons per, uh, in a correct manner let's let's log this here and see whether everything is coming fine or not perfect so let's save this and let's reload our page so as we reload our, our page yes so we are able to see 75 721 elements here which is perfect which is perfect and we have as you can see here we have everything we have base experience id uh, height everything is here animated uh, the url to animated image the url to normal image and everything is here without a single error and i want i want to um and this is amazing so perfect let's remove this log statement unnecessary log statement here and let's take a break here let's come back in the next video and then finalize our connecting of our applic uh, different components see you in the next video bye bye